Mike, how's it going? Wilson, what's up, man? Good. Wilson Morales from Black Cement TV talking to Mike Colton. Mike, this is the second time you're working with Dion. What made it so special for you to sign up again? Uh, you know, it's odd because <clears throat> this is the first time I worked with him, and then Black and Blue was the second time, but the release dates were reversed. So Black and Blue came out first, and then Fatal came out second. But, uh, you know, the first time I worked with him was this time, and, and it gave me a um, gave me an idea and understanding of what kind of guy he is and what he, how he likes to go about filming and using, you know, the actor's instincts, ad-libbing, you know, uh, finding ways to sort of bring the best out of the characters in an immediate sense of who these people are and how they vibe off of each other. So once I did this, you know, Black and Blue was like a no-brainer. He called me, he's like, hey, I got something for you to do. Can you can you work next week? Can you be, can you be down here, you know, in New Orleans, da-da-da? I said, of course, you know, because I, I trusted him. I trusted, you know, the experience that I had before and you know, there we, there we, there we had it, you know, there we have it. So, um, yeah, great guy, innovative filmmaker, going to be around for a long time. Interesting enough, you know, also included his movie, uh, and, and obviously we can't tell, you know, ahead of time if you have any scenes with her, but you and Hillary Swank going back to 2004, Million Dollar Baby. How was it like during the table read or whatever? Oh, man, it was great. There was, there was no table read. Um, I, I saw her on set in the, tra in the, in the makeup trailer first, uh, first day, or maybe costumes fitting, wardrobe fitting. Um, great to see her. Uh, always been a big fan. I was happy to reconnect with her after so so much time had passed. Um, different set of circumstances, different characters, different director, all this stuff. Um, just really good times, you know, hanging out with her and talking to her again. So, yeah, always happy to see her succeed and thrive and try something completely different and new. You know, manipulative, sexy, you know, character that's like a femme fatale who's you know you know up to no good and maybe you don't know what's going to happen next with her. So that's just, this is good. You're having a good run on TV with Evil, obviously, or as you do films, what goes into saying yes to the film projects you take? Um, the people who are doing the projects, I guess, you know, where they where where they film does come into play. But it really it comes down for me is like character. I'm kind of trying to find characters that I haven't played before, characters that um, allow me to stretch a little bit, show a different side of myself, give people something that they did not expect. Because I think people always want to get comfortable and think they know you as an actor or think they know what to expect from you. And so that's my, my game is never to be, you know, predictable or do something that they expect me to do. So, you know, when this character came up, I was like, yeah, this is a guy I would like to try and see if I can bring to life. And then, you know, that's how I look at it. You know, what's 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 it going to do for me as an artist? Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you, you know, obviously, since we're talking film here, Charlie Cox just got called back to reprise mm -hmm. his role. Mm -hmm. Any possibility if, they, if they, you get called back to play Luke Cage on the screen, would you take it? Well, I'm happy for Charlie. You know, I think uh, his fans wanted him to come back for a long time. I think Charlie was wanting to to still do the role. And I think he really has some more stuff he wants to do with that character. For me, it's like, you know, I had a great time playing him. Great opportunity um, was uh, was a, a time that I think it will will always be a part of my career. Whether I go back and play him or not, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm happy what I'm, with, with what I'm doing. I haven't had a conversation with anyone. But at the same time, I always tell people Luke Cage is a character that lives on um, forever and it can be rebooted and reinvented in much the same way you do a James Bond um, who plays him. It becomes secondary to the character itself. So I love to the fact that I have established this character. People maybe want to see me do him again. And, um, you know, hey, if phone call comes, I'll listen. Um, I'm not going to say no to a conversation, but I'm not waiting around, not holding my breath, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. And Evil, excited for season two? Excited, yeah, man. We're uh, we're in it. We're, we're we're the scripts. The scripts are really good, and um, I'm just we're plugging away cautiously. Um, hopefully, we won't have any setbacks. Obviously, filming under these circumstances are not ideal, but we're still happy to be able to show up and have a job and do what we love. Um, so, but the second season is going to be great. Um, I can't wait for fans to see where we where we're taking the characters because you know we basically start again. It's like you know 13 episodes. If you watch on Netflix, you know, they leave it on a cliffhanger. We don't, we, we start right back there. And the characters, we, we take us, take a breath. And then we start another journey again. And then we'll see how it unfolds. But it's, it's, it's a lot of twists and turns and a lot of character development. And that's what I love about it. It's, it's definitely not a procedural element, but I think people try to, you know, try to look at it that way because it's like, well, we got to have a category for it. But it's, you know, it's a character driven procedural, I guess, you know, um, and a little horror, a little psychology, a little psychological thriller in there, a little bit of, you know, religious spirituality, all kinds of stuff. So it's hard to tell people what that show is about, but when they watch it, they go, man, I like it a lot. Well, I'm glad, but I could, I can't tell people how, what it is. You're making it pop. 
big screen, small screen. Keep doing your thing. You know, I'm always here to support. It's good talking to you, Mike. Thanks, Wilson. Good to see you, man. Mm-hmm.